Hello, it is time for the second episode of This Is Not A Book. Okay, so I'm gonna start with page 16 and it says at the very top, this is a portable workstation. So basically you're just supposed to use this as a surface to like brainstorm for an idea on. So you put your coffee down on there, you put your pen down and then you doodle on the page and there's like a little note section and then a place where you're supposed to attach important documents. It's on a gray background, which is, I kind of wish it was on a white background, but I'm not gonna change it. I'm just gonna kind of try to work with it. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, let's get started with that now. Next is page 94 and it says, this is a dare, write a list of things you would like to try in your lifetime. It's basically like a bucket list, um, yeah, bucket list. I'm probably gonna do like a pretty doable bucket list, like stuff that I probably will actually do, hopefully in the near-ish future, so it's not gonna be like crazy stuff or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to do this page because in my last This Is Not A Book, this was my least favorite page. Not the prompt, the way I decorated. And again, there's a huge illustration on the page. I'll probably be covering that up because I have ideas for that space that I want to use. So uh, yeah, I'm just not going to deal with it. I'm just going to cover it up. Let's get into that now. hunt here is a list of things for you to find and then it gives you a big long list of things that you're supposed to find and last time I did do this I did it exactly how it asks you to do it and I found all the things on this list and honestly it was fun the first time but I don't want to do it again these things on the list like a scientific theorem a map a footnote a piece of thread you know just not super interesting things to me at least I just wasn't super thrilled about finding these things again so um, I have decided to put a pretty big twist on this page just to get it like more customized to my interests and so that I can have more fun with it so my idea is to actually change it into a rainbow scavenger hunt and you guys know how much I love rainbow I'm sorry if it bothers you that I really like rainbows why do I like rainbows? I don't know. I just do. I like colorful things and rainbows are just pretty to me, so I tend to use them a lot. But anyway, yeah, so a rainbow scavenger hunt, which just means finding one object for each different color of the rainbow. So like, find something red, find something orange, find something yellow, find something green, and so on and so on. Then you have like this rainbow of objects. If you want to do that in your own book as well, go for it. Feel free to, you know, use that idea in your own book as well. 
Um, but that's what we're, that's the plan for this page. So let's get started with that. in this book that are going to work similarly to what I'm about to do right now. I'm not going to be able to do it right now today. I'm going to have to do it over time because that's what the prompter requires. Um, but it's page 62 and it says this is a commitment. Do one thing on this list every day for one month. And then it gives you a list. I'm not going to read through all of them. Last time I chose draw something which was like the obvious choice because I like to draw, but I'm not gonna do the same thing again. So this time I'm gonna do take a photo. So I'm gonna take a photo every single day for a month and I'll collect the photos and then um, next episode I'll actually do the decoration on camera. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there that I'm starting this now, but I'm not actually gonna be doing it now. And next I'm gonna be doing page 84. This is a long string of directions. I'll try to go through it quickly. It says, this is an idea formulation generator. In column one, make a list of things found in nature. In column two, make a list of objects you use every day. In column three, make a list of words you like. And then pick one item from each list and combine them to come up with an idea for a new product or concept. I think I've heard people say that they thought that this was really boring. I actually think that this was like a really fun activity to do, but at the end, obviously you have this huge picture that's covering up the entire area. So you have really no space to like customize it or decorate it or anything. So at the end it looks pretty boring if you don't intentionally spruce it up. So. I'm going to be showing you my ideas of how to make this look more customized and like, you know, give it my own little tweaks and so it's not so boring looking at the end. Yeah, let's get started with that now. This is a habitat for microorganisms. Please help them to feel at home by adding a variety of things. Furniture, rooms, houses, walkways, etc. Make them as small as possible. Okay, so I think that this is actually a really cute idea for a prompt. Um, I do have one problem with it, which is just a personal thing. I just really don't like drawing small. I hate the little tiny drawings and I can't do it. I get frustrated. I'm really bad at it. So. I am going to try to draw small-ish, just not as small as possible, so keep that in mind. Okay, so let's get into this one now.
pages that I'm going to be doing for this episode, so let me go through and show you them more closely and talk about them in more detail if you care to hear. So, the portable workstation. I think, you know, this came out as cute as it could be. You know, it's not like the cutest page ever. It's kind of scattered and random, but I think it came out pretty cute considering what the prompt was, you know? So I did replace the original pen photograph with my own drawing of a pencil, and then I also put a drawing of a coffee mug over top of the spot where it says to put your coffee. I ended up planning out a series of squishies. So I just drew them, colored them, and then made it like a little envelope flap. I don't know why, because there was an envelope shape there before so for some reason I wanted to keep that I did end up using my white pen I just did a bunch of really random doodles not planned out at all and they're everywhere so yeah okay the scavenger hunt I'm actually really happy with this page I just wish that you could see the original directions I tried to work with them but I just couldn't the bag thing kept on getting in my way and yeah, other than that, I really like how this page turned out. I just found, you know, like I said, one thing for each color of the rainbow, and then I drew them, um, you know, at the end, like they're coming out of the rainbow or whatever. And I think it's a really nice page. I'm really happy with it. And then we've got the idea formulation generator. Again, I had fun with this. I thought it was a cool activity to do. I replaced the columns with like little cut out watercolored pieces of paper, and I think it looks like much better now and at least it has like some color and some it has some life to it now and then for the output section which is the section where you actually compile one word from each column to create your item or whatever i glued in a little envelope and i stuck in these little things if you didn't understand what they are they're just little drawings of the items that i was that i came up with from these words uh we've got the pink seashell perfume the delicate lily pad cup the rainbow crystal ring the sweet strawberry chapstick the fluffy cloud eyeshadow and the rose water soap and I just wanted to draw them because I thought that they sounded cool so and then the habitat page I think came out pretty cute uh, the background I kind of left like just line drawings like it's all very sketchy and just loose um, and uh, then I drew the little cottage and then here I drew like a magnifying glass over these two little microorganisms this is what I think microorganisms look like. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a little boy and a girl microorganism and they're jumping up and down because they're happy that they have a place to live now. And then the bucket list page. I'm so much happier with this than my old, this is not a book, oh my gosh, it's like a thousand times better, I think. For some reason I thought that this was really clever. I just drew a bucket with all the stuff coming out of it like so you know bucket list they're in a bucket and I don't know I thought it would be clever I think it's really cute but and then I just did stripes on the other page and they're just the colors that I used in the illustration so okay and that is it for this episode I will see you guys next time with a create this book episode so bye